Hello, this is Pat with Warner's Tree Surgery, and today I'll be talking about citrus trees and some of the problems they face here in Maricopa County. The leaves are usually the first thing you notice when something is wrong, so let's take a look at some of the common problems. This is what nitrogen deficiency looks like, and we can fix this with correct fertilization. This is what a zinc deficiency looks like, and again, we can easily fix this condition with correct regular fertilization. Herbicide damage sometimes looks like this, and it requires a little more work for us to correct. We usually start with a soil leach, and we also strengthen the tree's roots with a mycorrhizal root treatment. Be careful, fertilizing makes this problem worse. We often see leaves that look like this in a condition called citrus greening. The cause is a bacterium spread by aphids. The symptoms include fruit drop, twig dieback, and fruit that is lopsided, small and bitter tasting. Again, if you have this problem, give us a call. We can help. This is what sooty mold looks like. It's sooty and moldy looking and it develops on leaves or fruits that have been fouled by honeydew that was left by sap sucking insects. We can help give us a call. Manganese deficiency is a common problem in which the leaves turn yellowish but larger veins remain slightly green. We can easily fix this condition with correct regular fertilization. Citrus gamosis is caused by two soil-borne organisms. The symptoms include cracks in the bark and a sappy honey-colored gumming. This is pretty easy to spot. If you see this on your trees, give us a call. We can help with this problem. One more thing before I go. A major cause of citrus tree death is the person with the weed eater. And once they cut completely through the bark of your citrus tree, it's dead. So please check on this regularly. Goodbye for now. I hope to hear from you soon. Hi, this is Warner with Warner's Tree Surgery. The leaf we're looking at here has been uh, partially destroyed by the Asian citrus leaf miner. Now the Asian, the Asian citrus leaf miner is a small moth. When it's full grown you can just barely see it. It has no natural predator in Arizona and it breeds up to 14 times a year. This insect has been in, in the citrus trees now for five or six years. And because there was no other bug to combat this. Uh, it has managed to deplete the resources of the tree to the point where the tree can't defend itself not only from the leaf miner from, but from other insects as well. As a result of that we're getting uh, more dead leaves uh, the trees are more susceptible to frost, insect damage, and soil-borne fungus. Now you can see the gloss on this leaf, and that's because this happened just a day or two ago. After a few days, it looks like this, where it doesn't have the gloss. Then it gets to where, uh, let's see if I can find it. To where it it looks more like that where it's eaten through eaten through leaves produce energy in the form of sugars starches oils and proteins and they store that energy in the tree's storage network if a citrus tree has enough stored energy it can do all the things that have allowed them to survive despite the many diseases that are carried by antimicrobial agents carried by insects. As you can see, 
uh, the white flies have become a real problem. This video was taken in the summer of 2017 and you can see the white flies swarming. This is either the bayberry white fly, the ash white fly, or the citrus white fly, fly or the citrus white fly, or some other kind of white fly that I uh, don't know the name of. There's hundreds of different species, but those are the major ones that are known to infect citrus trees. And as you can see, they will stay in the tree until they have killed uh, all of the leaves, uh, which you'll see here in a minute. Now this is another place. This was taken uh, just before, uh, like a couple of weeks before the, uh, the tree you previously saw. And the white flies weren't as present. Uh, they only live between 30 and 60 days and the males are um, only live about, have their wings for about six days. So when you see them swarming like that, they're either leaving a tree because they finished eating it or they're mating. Uh, so here's a yard out in, uh, in Sun Lakes and you can see how the, the neighbor's trees are, have been eaten by the white fly, how the citrus trees next to the one that I started on here have been eaten as well. And there's one here that's particularly bad, uh, which will come up here in a minute, that has had just about all of the leaves destroyed because of the white fly. And not only has the citrus leaf miner lowered the resistance, because for years uh, it didn't have a natural predator, and then finally the uh, the bugs here finally decided that they wanted to eat it. Um, but in Florida, where it's been there longer, only 60% of the white flies are being eaten by local predators. They actually imported a, a wasp uh, from uh, Asia that takes care of the other 30%. So the leaf miner has lowered the resistance on the trees to the point where they can't do their normal stuff that they do to defend themselves. If they've got enough energy, they do a pretty good job of defending themselves against insects. However, this particular white fly has been in the valley now for at least two years that I know of, and it's starting to get to have enough numbers to where it's doing damage. This same sort of thing happened back in the 80s uh, in uh, New Mexico, Arizona, and California, and they imported a, a predator wasp to take care of it. Now that's when all of the citrus here, or most of them, were in orchards. They were also able to bring in poisons to take care of it. So that particular insect, along with the leaf miner, and possibly the psyllid, uh, carry deadly diseases. The psyllid carries a deadly disease. Uh, the leaf miner just weakens the resistance of the trees. The white flies will kill their trees, but mostly I get called out on citrus trees this year and it's really starting to become a problem. So uh, that's about it. If you've got any questions, give me a call. Uh, this is Warner with Warner's Tree Surgery. We can help you with all this stuff. Thank you very much. They'll stay in them until they're completely defoliated. Uh, all of these white flies also infest other trees, including ash trees, the purple pear. I've seen them in uh, the caribs. And I, I've just seen them in a number of other trees and in a bunch of citrus trees. So give me a call uh, so I can come out and take a look at what's going on. Um, that's about it. I'll talk to you later. Thank you for watching. This is Warner. Goodbye.